Well, hello. Today is, I'm just trying to think, so bear with me a moment. It's um, the 8th of December. I got it right. Um, so yes, it was the 7th. Um, i trying to think what I did yesterday because I didn't do a Vlogmas yesterday. I, it was just like a really busy day. Uh, I think I was painting the kitchen out of the bathroom and uh, I wrapped presents. I've never wrapped or even really bought the presents this early. It's just unbelievable. Banking on, say, worst case scenario, not because I like to think of the worst case scenario, but if there is the worst case scenario and I can't do anything after my operation for quite a long time, then I am prepared. That's the plan. So presents are under the tree. I was wrapping those last night's present under the tree from me. So that's that's rather lovely actually. It was very nice. Um, I think that was yesterday and getting new tyres on my car, you know, hanging around outside because I've got to put my car in for an MOT. That's typical, isn't it? So that's got to go off tomorrow night. Um, it doesn't matter because I can't drive for a while anyway. And then today, um, what did I do today? Gosh, you'd think I'd remember, wouldn't you? I can remember most of it. But this morning I think I was doing admin and whatnot. And then I went, I was gonna go for a walk, um, an outside walk um, with my youngest daughter who's at university here. Um, but in the end we went to our favorite place to have lunch because it's really good to sit outside and I figured nobody else will sit outside. So wrapped up very warm. I'm in a, it's an old Alice Templey jumper and I um, shortened the bottom with my red poinsettia brooch. I'm gonna strip off after I film this because I'm really, really hot. I dressed for being outside. Um, so we had a really lovely lunch. I mean, uh, mm, uh, Lumi and Harissa and tomato uh, panini and gingerbread latte. I just said to her, go and order what you know I like and it was delicious. And then we walked up and got um, some mistletoe and the green graces. So I got that outside. And then Millie went into the charity shop and got some of the things that I liked from the window and some other little bits she saw. And I also saw... Um, some colourful snowflakes that I've seen from Petra Bose and they were for sale in this lovely shop so she's going to pop back at the weekend um, and get those for me. I've still got to put up our white snowflakes but I want the colourful ones there. We've got a really busy house full of stuff as it is so Christmas really gets a bit full on. I must admit just after Christmas I get a bit claustrophobic with it all but I've just been putting up all the extra, sorry it wobbles, my arms ache, I have to keep swapping arms, I put up all the extra decorations, so I'm really pleased with it. So I'll just show you those and talk you through some of the bits. There's bits from my childhood, vintage bits, bits that I made when the girls were small, all sorts of things. So um, yeah, they make me really happy. Many years ago, I saw these fabulous cardboard, um, you know, paper tummy Santas in a charity shop. The original price is 12p on the back. And I found two, and my friend who's with me was um, rather miffed. I have treasured them every since, ever, every since, ever since, and they come out each year and they make me so, so happy. I also saw this on one of my treasure hunts, this beautiful Huntley and Palmer's tin, which my mum and my daughters went to buy for me. Now it holds all our Christmas sweeties every year. Saw this uh, lovely tureen, there were two, but I only needed one, and the beautiful serving plate, which I thought would look beautiful on the Christmas table. And here is the mistletoe that I came home with, and the Santa um, wrapping paper that I was really pleased to put up. A few little houses on the fridge. There are the paper Santas, and then I've had real fun making the shelf this year, putting all the Santas and the trees out. There's lots of vintage bits and bobs, um, those little plastic things were in the girls' school um, Christmas crackers, every primary school lunch in the village we lived in. Um, my love remembers his mum by a robin. I remember my dad by a blackbird, so that's uh, why the robin is there. Rosie bought me the Santa globe. Um, oh, and the ring the bell for Jesus, which we have to ring every year. Sorry if you're um, a Christian and we seem like we're naughty. And then the mince pies, the felt of mince pies I made. I think it was at So Dainty on Instagram. She'd um, shown how to make them and I just knew I had to. And then the dangly um, felt, there's all sorts of shapes. I remember sitting in our cottage in the country on the rug by the wood burner while the girls were small sewing this. And that comes out every year, memory of their childhood. And there's the bag with some more bits. 
that have got to go out. So yeah, bells jingle on this. The snowman and the Christmas tree were both made by a toy maker who just used to sell at my vintage market. So all my beautiful china cupboard, which is full of treasured things. And then I've got presents under the tree. And then after that, I had to go to the hospital for, I thought it was just for blood tests, but it turns out it was like a whole pre-op assessment, which really, really put my mind at rest more. Um, they did like MRSA swabs. Well, I did them because it's like swabbing around your groin. So I was quite glad I got to do that on my own um, with somebody constantly battling at the toilet door. You know, you think, oh, just for God's sake, just go away. Um, but there we go. Um, so yeah, blood pressure, had an ECG, I don't know why, I'd got it in my head that what if I have some undiagnosed heart condition and I die on the table? Just, just a bit crazy, my brain goes off in all sorts of places. Um, so ECG said heart, oh, sorry another wobble, ECG said heart's really clear, so oh, that, yeah, I feel more reassured with that. I explained to the lady how I really like to be in control. Um, and I was talking a lot and then I said to her, you know, I've realised I've got ADHD, you know, I, I hit all the, the signs, you know, my daughter's got it um, and now I'm realising how similar we are. And she said, yeah, wanting to be in control like that is very common, I kind of recognised it with you. I'll go and get the nurse and she can talk you through what's happening on the day. I mean, that was just marvellous. That really, really helped, knowing exactly what's going to be happening. Um, you know, down to the minutiae of where I'll be sitting, when will I be getting undressed, when are they likely to operate, as much as they know. And then when the nurse went, this lady who had been doing my ECG said, would you like to see into where you'll be? Because this is like a day centre unit. She just opened the door and she said, the operating theatre's there, the ward's there. It was already small. My fears of being wheeled down loads of corridors, totally compass mentis, waiting to be knocked out were allayed. I don't know why that's really freaked me out from when I had a laparoscopy in my early 20s. Um, yes, I just, I, I do feel like a bit of a weight's been lifted. I feel a lot less freaked out. I'm not scared about the thought of pain after, as I've done really intense pain. So any pain I have after it doesn't frighten me at all. Um, and weirdly, I'm really looking forward to the enforced recovery. You know, when you can't move a bit, but I'll be able to read, knit, hopefully, um, and watch films. And I don't have to go anywhere. I don't have to do anything. I can't cook. I can't clean. I'm really looking forward to that. I wouldn't have to put a bra or knickers on. Just put clothes on over the top, because I'm not going to lay naked on the sofa, because I will be quite cold. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the after bit. So we've just got to get Saturday done. So I'm going to do some sewing tomorrow, and um, I'm going to film like a proper, you know, weekly sewing, knitting, stuff related vlog like I normally do not a vlogmas one um really want to do that as a final catch up with you all because I definitely won't be doing one next week um and the week after might do but might not so it might not be that I'm back here till just after Christmas or the new year who knows time willing and you know I want to focus on getting well and being with everybody but I am going to do these dip in vlogmas they're just so much easier than setting up the tripod and all of that so that's me so yeah my caught upness um so I shall see you back here tomorrow um yeah I really think that's everything so bye bye <laughs>